Hola, happy Monday, feliz lunes. Hoy vamos a continuar a ver las frases o um, muy frecuentes que se usan en Latinoamérica. Today we're going to see um, sayings or phrases that we are frequently used when you travel to Latin America or any Spanish-speaking country. So it, I'm not going to go with the book. I'm going to pause the showing content uh, from the book because it's just, it's gotten to a technical portion and I think that you need variety. And these phrases are much more practical when you are traveling to South America. So let me go ahead and put up the uh, presentation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the English first, and then I'm going to um, say the Spanish sentence just because it's, I think it's easier if you're an English speaker to hear the actual sentence that you're saying in English to translate it into Spanish. So let me know if you like it this way or if you would rather hear the Spanish sentence and then hear the translation to the English. Let me know in the comments. So here are um, our advanced Spanish phrases for different hotel situations. I think they're just standard Spanish phrases, not necessarily advanced. So when you want, when you want to say that you have booked a room, you say, he reservado una habitación. He reservado una habitación. Can you give me the key to my room? Puedes darme la llave de mi habitación? Puedes darme la llave de mi habitación? This room is too noisy. Esta habitación es demasiado ruidosa. Esta habitación es demasiado ruidosa. And again, notice that you're using a lot of the R's, 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 um, strong R's. So it's important that you practice the strong R's as you say them in Spanish. Esta habitación es demasiado ruidosa. Do you have a firmer mattress? No tiene un colchón más duro. No tiene un colchón más duro. You can say, or you can say maybe a softer mattress. Tiene un colchón más suave. When is checkout time? ¿Cuándo es la hora límite de salida? ¿Cuándo es la hora límite de salida? Thank you for your help. Gracias por tu ayuda. Or if it was somebody that was older or required a little more uh, reverence, you would say, gracias por su ayuda. How was your stay with us? ¿Qué les ha parecido su estancia con nosotros? ¿Qué les ha parecido su estancia con nosotros? Very nice, thanks. Muy agradable, gracias. Muy agradable, gracias. Here is your bill. Please look it over. Let me get myself out of here. Aquí tiene su factura. Por favor, revísela. Aquí tiene su factura. Por favor, revísela. So now we're going to see Spanish travel phrases to help you exper experience the local cuisine. I'm ready to ask. I think it's better, the, 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 the English version would be, I'm ready to order instead. Estoy listo para, para pedir. And you would say, estoy listo para ordenar. Estoy listo para pedir o estoy listo para ordenar. What would you like to drink? ¿Qué desea usted beber? You can say, ¿qué desea beber? You don't need to use usted because when you say, ¿qué desea? Beber, you know that it's usted. I would like some dessert. Me gustaría algo de postre. Me gustaría algo de postre. Or you could say, me gustaría un postre. I would like a dessert. I would like to try the chef's specialty. Me gustaría probar la especialidad del cocinero. Me gustaría probar la especialidad del chef. También puedes decir chef. Me gustaría probar la especialidad del cocinero o me gustaría probar la especialidad del chef. 
a soup, una so sopa. A soup, una sopa. A salad, una ensalada. A coffee, un café. A tea, un té. An orange juice, un jugo de naranja. Un jugo de naranja. A mineral water, un agua minera mineral. Un agua mineral. A bowl of soup, una taza de sopa. And it all depends. A uh, bowl, you could probably say it in, it's, you say it in different um, ways, specific per country. So once you arrive into the country that you're in, you're going to know whether it's taza, tazón. Um, I think that there's other varieties, but I know them as taza o tazón de sopa. So we continue with the local cuisine. We would like to have breakfast. Nosotros quisiéramos desayunar. You could also say quisiéramos desayunar. You don't have to say nosotros. Nosotros quisiéramos desayunar o quisiéramos desayunar. We would like to have lunch. Nosotros quisiéramos almorzar. Quisiéramos almorzar. Nosotros quisiéramos almorzar. We would like to have dinner. Nosotros quisiéramos cenar. Quisiéramos cenar. Nosotros quisiéramos cenar. What would you recommend? ¿Qué me recomienda usted? Or ¿qué me recomienda? What is the special dish of the day? ¿Cuál es el plato especial del día? ¿Cuál es el plato especial del día? I would like a plate with mixed vegetables and fish. Yo quisiera un plato con verduras mixtas y, y pescado. We would like two glasses of wine. Nosotros quisiéramos dos copas de vino. You could say, quisiéramos dos copas de vino. Without fats, sin grasas. Sin, or you could say, sin grasa. Without salt, sin sal. Without animal products, sin productos animales. Sin Productos animales. Without sugar, sin azúcar. Spanish for travelers who want to have fun. Um, if you want to go dancing and so forth. ¿Hay algún bar por aquí? Is there a, oh, sorry. Is there a pub, pub bar around here? ¿Hay algún bar por aquí? Can you recommend me a place to dance? ¿Me podría recomendar un lugar para bailar? ¿Me podría recomendar un lugar para bailar? Can you get me a ticket? ¿Puede conseguirme usted una entrada? You can say un boleto as well. ¿Puedo conseguirme un boleto? Or ¿Puede conseguirme una entrada? There is a free concert in Central Park. In the Central Park. Hay un concierto gratuito en el Parque Central. Hay un concierto gratuito en el Parque Central. Are there any seats available? Hay, ¿Aún hay asientos disponibles? Aún hay asientos disponibles. We would like two tickets to the movie Avengers Infinity War. Nosotros quisiéramos dos boletos para la película Avengers Infinity War. Or you could say quisiéramos dos boletos para la película Avengers Infinity War. Can you recommend me something fun to do tonight? ¿Me podría recomendar algo divertido para hacer esta noche? And this is it. Hopefully, it took less than 15 minutes. Again, you can go back to the beginning of this, this slide presentation to go over the Spanish translations and practice saying them. And again, there's a lot of R's, R's pronunciadas, so I would recommend for you to pronounce and practice using the hard R's, las R's, because we use them a lot in Spanish. Anyway, I don't think I'm going to have anything else this week. I might have something on tattoos, but I'll see if I have time. Otherwise, have a great rest of the week. Y los quiero mucho. Hasta pronto. Adios. Chao.